rock and roll. Look at this jump. Who's that back there? Trail of vintage rock. Yeah, I can't see them. Anyway, we're en route. Say, Hagger. We on the way. We on the way. We got advanced auto parts, stock up on some axles for Tatum. <laughs> I'm gonna hope at least he gets a couple thousands. Yeah. Before he fucks something up. That could have been the prize out of them. Whoever oh does God. the best. And I'm not talking like speed. I'm talking overall. Because clearly like Duffy fast. is, yeah, Duffy is the fastest. Yeah, clearly, clearly Danny Duffy can be put links on everybody. <laughs> I think awful. Jaden and the Crystal is going to be a good matchup. Yeah. Yeah. Are they all in the same class as Jorge? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe they're close. Except Duff. Have any of them raced here before? No. All right, well, hopefully they all kick ass. All right, see ya.
in the classroom. Far end of the building behind the food trucks are classrooms. Yourself. Yeah, make you cream over there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a Q, right? Q50. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a manual. Manual. Like, yeah, oh, he's turbo. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a GoPro on there? No. No. Here comes <laughs> Oh, 
that's all. Maybe he lost his brakes. His brake lights were Yeah, but he's like all the way over the hump. Yeah, he's good. There's a, there's a big grassy area up there. Uh, it's perfect for... I should have just made the track go that way. <laughs> Before, did you? Yeah. Yeah, Jaden's gonna blimp it back. He snapped an axle on the 2 3 no lift shirt. Yeah, of course. Where was he doing a 2 3 no lift shirt? Right there. Oh, God. Nah, Jaden snapped his axle. Yep. I'm gonna get this pool. Hey, where did I go? Better. Better. 
trap. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't really he working wasn't. on it the he whole thing. But, man, you when he gets in it, it though. Yeah, I know. God. It's such a shame. But God damn, dude, that car is oh. unbelievable. Let him up. Alright, 135. Tire spray down twice. Brian O'Connor, boost button. Yeah. You out here. Hey, I'll catch you out there, my boy. They had us registered at no class, even though Andrew, you know, filled out for four door. So we started looking at like, you know, the mile an hour and what kind of uh, uh, placing everybody was in. And when we realized we weren't even on the leaderboard because they didn't have us registered, is when we also realized that we were destroying it and leading the class by a long shot. So, um, anyways, we ended up uh, finishing first with. Uh, best mile an hour of like almost 132 got a uh, second place was like 122 so so we had we had first place by like 10 mile an hour so this thing this thing was hauling it was definitely putting up a good fight for traction and then the shutdown was uh horrible really it wasn't the, the best setup yeah well the problem with this car is like it's just the, the asset just like to come want to come around with you. whether you're on the gas or you're trying to take a corner it's just yeah so Definitely had a couple close calls and had to get out of it. And it was definitely this thing is just a wild fucking ride. That's just all it is. That's just all. It is. It's just nuts. It's all over the place. You pretty much, even when it's dead hooking, it's like you still have to pedal it because it's just all over the place. So um, every time, every time we we lined up, um, I, when I drove it, I just asked for a solo pass um, and just took the whole track because I, I, I you just can't keep. It, Racing door to door with this car is just like does not seem possible. <laughs> you, you're just gonna you're just gonna eat the door and the guy next to you because you're just gonna go over in his lane or you know be lucky go on the other side but then you got the grass. But yeah, it's just it's just tough. Um, I did plenty of passes where it's like you know 
I, I, I pulled over into the middle and rode both lanes and had to pull it back, you know, into my lane as I'm doing a pass, still full in it. And then I gotta shut it down like this really quick before I slide into the grass on the corner <laughs> at a, doing 130 mile an hour. So it's, uh, it was a wild ride. It was fun, it was awesome, uh, good time. And uh, yeah, we were surprised that we, you know, were even gonna place, let alone take first place. Um, yeah, that was an awesome surprise, literally. The yeah, end yeah, of the day. yeah. So that, that was fun. Um, definitely, definitely put the cherry on the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. even, even in the rear wheel drive manual class, we would have, we would have placed in that. Um, I think first place was like 134, and a second and third were hovering around 131-ish, 132s. So yeah, even just for straight out rear wheel drive manual, we would have placed. Um, but yeah, we definitely uh, took home the W in the four door class. Yeah. Um, what? Uh what happened with Jaden now? Uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> Jaden got a couple passes in, you know, just like everybody else, we were fighting traction issues, you know, it, was, it wasn't a prep surface and, you know, we Thank weren't you. allowed to like do a standstill burnout or any burnout uh, once you got into staging um, to get any heat in the tire and, you know, there was plenty of times where we were sitting in staging lanes for 20, 30 minutes, so, you know, even if you did a rolling burnout in the pit, you know, to knock the shit off the tire and get it warmed up, you were cold by the time you, you know, got to stage and actually do a pass. So, traction issues were a big problem today. Um, I had to dial back the Cresta heavily to, you know, fight traction issues to get it to hook. But yeah, um, Jaden, yeah, even on low boost wastegate, he was killing the tire. And then we ended up uh, trying to, we sprayed, we started spraying uh, uh, track prep on everybody's tires and it did help and unfortunately it helped Jaden too much because the first hit up with the track prep um, He snapped the axle on a 2-3 no lift shift not even in a race He was just hot lap going around the track and just decided oh, I'm gonna get some heat in the tire. Let's do it. No lift shift 2-3 and uh, yeah Oh um, man, wait, what did Martin do when he snapped his? Martin, yeah, he was doing a 3-4 shift. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, we, so. we knew. We, unfortunately, we knew that yeah. this was like uh, the weak, the weakest link in the car right now. Um, so, he's, yeah. axles, he's just eating axles. Eating axles, you know? yeah. I mean, he's got he's, way too much torque. He's, he's, shocking, just... he's shocking the drive. That's what... How much torque? I agree. The car makes 800 wheel. Shit. How much torque? It's uh, a Like high sevens. Yeah, it's like... It's... It just doesn't look amazing. It's on a 28 have, inch fucking... Yeah, it needs fucking Andy's. Higher, too. It needs Andy's rear. <laughs> yeah, he needs, he just needs he need, yeah, something that's going to hold it up, blow apart. Absolutely. But then, yeah, and then uh, Duffy. Duffy did pretty good out there, you know, um, you know, just like everybody else, traction issues, so um, he had to figure out how to dial the car back and play with that, and he had other issues, but I think, um, I think he was having some uh, can communication errors um, while he was in it. So it was pretty much shutting off, shutting down the car, and limiting it. Um, I think he's having a problem with with his boxes because they're not like properly mounted down. He hasn't gotten that all sorted out yet about properly mounting everything. So you know he hits it and does a pass and fucking lays into it, and you're looking at the sky and the boxes are probably just you know <laughs> sliding around, <laughs> smacking each other. So you know, um, yeah. So I have to get them get them mounted and you know. Else you got a dowel in the car for the track, um, so yeah, and then um, and the beloved RB. Oh, Jorge, Jorge yeah, I mean, Jorge, yeah. Had a, Jorge had a blast, he was out there hot lapping, didn't really have any <laughs> issues except on the last pass. I think he blew apart the power steering belt, yeah, <laughs> yeah, blew apart the power steering belt. Um, and I think he uh, he also shot out the dipstick because it's the head of the dipstick is cracked, um, so yeah, he ended up uh. The dipstick ended up coming out of the hole a little bit, but um, he trapped 120. Yeah, he was he was uh, on on a clean pass. He was doing like mid 120s. Um, he probably could have honestly done more, but the the um, he said he was in at 80 percent throttle. He's like, I didn't even take it. He like higher because um, you know the the way the cool down was. Yeah, it yeah. was just kind of sketchy, and you know, you better better stay alive, and you know. <laughs> like there's just not like there's nothing you could do like yeah sure yeah. you want to make a good number but uh that was like 
you gotta be able to stop. Yeah, that's the problem with the Cresta because like I had, I had to stand on the brake hard, like so hard, like riding the limit of locking up the front tires and the ass end swinging around, and then even still had a hard time taking that, you know, that corner because in the corner the ass end would just want to slide, and it did slide on me, you know, once or twice. Oh um, yeah, yeah, scared me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely definitely a wild ride, but um, all in all, uh, great time, great experience, great event, great people, and, um, great friends. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely definitely a good time, and can't wait for the next one. Yeah, seriously, it was good. It was a really good time. Oh wow. yeah, so I'm glad we were able to you know sponsor the event and get out there and you know show face and even hey even take home take home some winning. Yeah, yeah, what a, what a nice <laughs> yeah, surprise that was, that, that was. That was a good surprise. Yeah, yeah, so. Bye, see ya, end of video. Later.